By default, AutoCAD uses what is called the World Coordinate System, or WCS for short. It's possible to create your own User Coordinate System, or UCS, that has a different origin point, or is rotated with respect to the WCS. You will create a UCS and draw objects using it in this video. Open the Mechanical Sample file in the Chapter 6 folder. Let's turn on the User Coordinate System icon by typing UCS icon. Enter, and then choose On. This represents the X and Y axes, and this box is located at the origin point of the grid. If you click this icon, you can then move the UCS to a new location. I can move this down here, and what I've done is I have moved the origin point, and I've created a UCS at the same time. Notice, though, that there's no longer a box around that point. That means I'm dealing with a user coordinate system. The world coordinate system was the initial one. So now we're working with something that's a little bit different. Now, so at this point, it doesn't really matter. Why would you care if you move the origin point? Where this comes in handy is when you start to rotate the UCS. And you can do that with these grips here. I'll click this grip and I can rotate that. And watch what happens to the cursor. It also rotates. I'll press Escape. Now, if I draw a line and turn on Ortho, you will see that the line is working with this new coordinate system's orientation. And so this can come in handy if you're trying to draw something that's at an angle. So let me just erase these. Notice that you cannot erase the UCS. It's a drawing aid that remains on the screen. You can turn it off, but you can't get rid of it. I could type UCS icon off, but I would still have the benefit of this rotated coordinate system. Now over here, let's say I want to draw in this little area and make it bigger. I'm going to move the UCS over there, and I will snap its origin point right there on the corner. And then I'm going to grab one of these grips and rotate it around like so. Now my coordinate system lines up with this geometry. At this point, I'd like to stretch this part out so I have a larger surface that's at this angle. If I use stretch, the selection window is still in the WCS system. So I have to be really careful about how I select that. And I can just do it here. I can just select those objects, enter, and then I'll click a point here, turn on ortho, and drag that over. So I have now a larger surface to work with, and it has maintained the same angle, a 45 degree angle going down with respect to the horizon. You can also rotate the user coordinate system using the keyboard. You can type UCS, enter, and then you can type in the axis that you want to rotate around. In this case, I want to rotate around the z-axis. That's an axis that comes out of the screen, perpendicular to the xy plane. I'll rotate around the z-axis, 45 degrees, and that rotates it back so that it's horizontal. Another way you can work is by orienting the UCS relative to a selected object. So, for example, let's say that we draw a rectangle over here, and then we rotate that at some arbitrary angle. I'm just going to rotate it about like that. Now I want to work with that, and I want to draw using that as my reference. So I'm going to type UCS, Enter, and then I'll use the Object option right here. Click on that, and then click on the object. And automatically the UCS will move its origin point, and rotate itself to suit that object. Now I could go ahead and draw a line using ortho that is relative to that geometry. So in this way, I can detail something that's at an angle. You can also view that information as if it was in front of you, like a floor plan. Like you're going to rotate the paper so that you're looking with the x-axis horizontal and the y-axis vertical. And you can do that with the plan command. Type plan, 
enter, and then you're going to use the current UCS, which is the default option. So just press enter again. It's like rotating the sheet of paper, if you will. So now we're looking at it like a floor plan, like we're, we're looking at the, the sheet of paper with respect to our UCS. So if we had an extensive amount of work to do in this geometry, we could do it. And then when we're done with that, we could go back to the initial orientation by resetting the user coordinate system first, UCS, enter. And I'd like to reset that back to the world coordinate system. So I'll choose this world option. It's actually the default option. So all I have to do is press enter. And now the UCS is gone and we're back to the WCS. Now it's very subtle, but I can tell that this is the WCS because there's a little box right here. Now I want to rotate the drawing, so I'm looking at it orthogonally, and I can do that with the plan command again. Plan, enter, and I could either go to the current UCS or I can choose the world option. They're equivalent in this case. World. And now I'm back to where I was. So there you've seen some interesting ways to reorient your coordinate system to suit the type of work that you're doing. Of course, in 3D, you can rotate the UCS at any angle on any surface, and this becomes invaluable when you're doing 3D modeling. But it's also quite helpful when you're doing 2D drafting and you're trying to draw objects that are at an angle.